Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here, and welcome to my channel. So if you're new here, we solve a lot of problems on this channel, and today we're going to be looking at the reverse string problem. So this is a really interesting problem when you use the two-pointer solution to solve it, and that's exactly what we will be doing today. So I hope this video helps you understand the question, and let's go ahead and get started. So this is a very simple problem to understand. We're given a string, and we just need to um, reverse the input. So if we're given hello, we need to return O-L-L-E-H, so just reverse the strings. Um, but the key in the question is we need to do this in place. So this means that um, we cannot create any auxiliary um, array to do this transformation. Okay, so with this in mind, let's look at the solution. Okay, so to solve this problem, what I'm going to do is I will initialize two pointers. So I will um, start my pointer here. So this will be my left pointer. And I will have a pointer at the end of the uh, list here at the O. And I'm going to swap these two positions. So what do I mean when I say swap, right? So if I were to do this for this first iteration, um, what this would look like would be O, E, L, L, H. So what I did is I swapped the O and the H here. Okay, so... You can see that, yeah, this does swap the first two positions, but we haven't swapped the rest of the list, right? So how do we swap um, all the items in the string? So what we do is we just move our pointer. So we move this right pointer um, over here to this next position and we move this left pointer forward. So at each step, we're going to move our left pointer forward and our right pointer backwards. And then what we do is we have the same uh, positions here, so these don't change, and this will transform to now L, L, and then E. So now we switch the L and the E, right? And this will remain the same. And you can see that we've already solved the problem because this is the output. So at each point, what we need to do is we just need to um, move our pointers and uh, go through in a while loop and solve this problem. So um, the time complexity for this is O of n because we will iterate over the entire array. And the space complexity is O of 1, which is what the question asks us to do. And at each step, we will just literally swap the two uh, positions we're at, the, the strings, the elements at those places, and we'll just advance our pointers. And that's, that's it. That's all we got to do. OK, awesome. So let's look at the code. Awesome, so I'm back in the code, and the first thing I'm going to do is define my left and right pointers. So I will say let left equals 0, and this is going to start at um, the first index here, which is the 0 index, and our right index is going to start at the end here. So that index is let right equals um, s dot length minus 1. Okay, so we're doing minus 1 because we're starting at 0, so this index actually points to this last spot in the list. That's why we're doing the minus one. Okay, awesome. Now we need to write our while loop. So we'll say while left is less than right. And we want it to check this condition because if left is equal to right, that means we're pointing at the same item. That means like we um, have finished doing all the swaps we possibly can, right? So that's why this is our while condition. And what we're going to do is create a temporary variable called hold. And we are going to um, put the uh, left value in here for it to hold it, right? So this is how we'll do our swap. So we'll say let hold equals um, s at the index of left. So in the first iteration, the hold will be holding this h, okay? And then what we're going to say is s at the index left equals s at the index right. And what this is going to do is it will actually say is O, so it will just take this last element and just put it here. So currently, if I point this, it will just look like O, E, L, L, O. Now we need to now transfer this H that we put in the hold back here, right? So that's our last step. So what we want to say is um, S at the index right, which is the last index currently, um, is going to be equal to whatever we put in that variable to hold. So we'll say hold, okay? And then what we need to do is advance our pointer so then they move forward. So the left pointer, so remember left pointer will go this way, so we're going to add to it. So we'll say left plus plus, and the right pointer is going to move this way. So we're going to say right minus minus. So right minus minus. All right, that looks good. Um, let me run code. 
Okay, awesome. So let's submit. Okay, awesome. It works.